Over the bye week, the Oakland Raiders have decided to change quarterbacks. Their passing game has not been anything spectacular to say the least. So today, Mario Ichavera is going to take the reins from Terrell Pryor as they take on the 2-2 two two Chicago Bears. Now, the Oakland Raiders, they come into this ballgame with a record of 4-0. If they win this ballgame, they will be 5-0 and be in first place of the AFC West. So that is the goal today, but it's going to be no easy task as they get ready to take on the Chicago Bears, led by Jay Cutler. Third and eight, Jay Cutler has the ball lined up at the 33-yard line, looking to pass and take a shot deep, and that pass is going to get batted down by D'Angelo Hall and tethered for Brandon Marshall, but he was unable to get his hands on it. Now the Raiders take over. Second and nine, Ichavera drops back the pass, looking for Ben Tate, but that pass is going to hit the grass, and that's going to bring up third and nine. So now it's third and nine from the 18-yard line. Mario looking to pass, has time, throws the ball over the middle, and McMacklin cannot make the catch he got hit as soon as the ball got there and the bears are going to take over first and 10 there goes matt forte on first and 10 he goes nowhere brings up second and 10 as he gets brought down by bob spates so second and 10 color has time and that pass going to be intercepted by d'angelo hall and the Oakland is going to have excellent field position as the ball is placed at the 50 yard line so second and three mario going to find pettigrew over to the right side and he's going to pick up the first down Move those chains, the first first down of the game for either team. So third and 11 now, Mario drops back the pass. Under pressure, he's going to get sacked by Big Melton, his second sack of the game so far, and the Raiders are first to punt. So right now, it has been a defensive struggle, to say the least, and there goes Matt Forte trying to change things up. Gets past the 50, and he's going to get inside the 45, gets bumped out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Big-time run by Matt Forte. Got a couple of big-time blocks and was able to run the ball across the 50 into Raiders' territory. So first and 10 from the 44. Four yard line Smith is the man in motion to give us the Forte Forte looking for some running room and he's gonna pick up a gain of nine gonna be a couple of inches short of the first down ball is on the 34 the Bears decide running again the give is to Forte and Forte picks up the first down gain of two on the play gets brought down by ex bear Nick Roach second and five from the 27 Forte breaks the tackle Forte gets into the secondary and Reed can't get him and he finally gets brought down by Branch but not until he picks up another first down ball is placed on the 13 yard line the Bears run the ball again and Forte gets into the end zone touchdown Bears and the Bears are going to take a early 7-0 lead and this one let's see if the Raiders can match the Bears score for score so third and 10 now from the 19 yard line Mario drops back the pass going to connect the Pettigrew the big tight end makes his second catch of the ball game move those chains third and four from the 37 now looking for Marcel Reese and that's going to go nowhere and the Raiders are going to be forced to punt and the Bears are going to take back over Three seconds go in the first quarter. Cutler has time, throws the ball. He's going to find Brandon Marshall, breaks the tackle, picks up the first down, his first catch of the ball game. Going to get the Bears 17 yards on that one. Second and 10 over the middle. Going to find Wilson, and Wilson makes his first catch for a gain of 21, and the Bears offense is looking like they are finally in rhythm. So now it's third and nine. Cutler drops back. Cutler's going to find Bennett and Martellus Bennett. Picks up eight, but he needed to get nine. That's going to bring up the field goal opportunity for the Bears. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. So the Bears take a 10-0 lead. Oakland takes back over. Mario drops back. He's going to find Macklin on the comeback route. He's going to pick up the first down and much, much more. And now the Raiders hopefully can get something out of this drive and put some points on the board. First and 10. Each of air drops back. Going to find my man Moore. And Denarius Moore is going to get into the secondary. Picks up a huge first down and a huge gain of 35 on the play first and goal from the one to give us to Marcel Reese he gets into the end zone touchdown Raiders and the Raiders are right back in this ball game 10 to 7 is the score and the Raiders are only down by three third and eight from the 22 now 7 10 to go in the first half Cutler has time running out of it can take a shot deep and that pass is gonna fall incomplete and the Bears are gonna have to kick it after going three and out so the Raiders take over, third and six. Each of drops back in the final. Macklin again, he gets his third catch of the ball game, and more importantly, he picks up the first down. Second and eight from the 50 now. Each of drops back, has time, throws the ball over the middle to my man, Ben Tate, who gets his third catch of the ball game, and he picks up the first down as well. Now it's third and six from the 37. Looking for a man over the middle, that's Jeremy Macklin, who picks up another first down, and the Raiders offense is looking very sharp on this drive. 
Third and six under pressure, each Rivera trying to escape it. He throws the ball away just in time, and the Raiders have a chance to tie this bad boy up. The kick is underway, and the kick is good. 10-10 is the score with just over a minute to go in the first half. Second and 10 for the Bears from the 26-yard line. Cutler over the middle, finds his man 2-2, and 2-2 just got the 2-2 Brock to him. As my man Ed Reed forces the fumble, he's letting everybody know that he's out there straight balling. Let's check out the replay. My man has the ball right here, and he just gets smacked going across the middle by Ed Reed. Let's check it out from another angle. You can see Ed Reed absolutely destroyed him on that one, and the Raiders are going to take over. First and 10 from the 41. Ben Tate play action. Each of looking to pass. And Mario finds Pettigrew just inside the 20. Gets knocked out at the 14 yard line. Move those chains. First and 10. Ben Tate up that guy. Gonna pick up the first down. First and goal from the three. So second and goal from the three. Mario looking. Mario has time. Finds Marcellus who gets in the end zone for the second time today. One on the ground, one through the air. Marcellus is showing everybody why the Raiders signed him to that nice contract extension in the offseason. 17-10 is the score at halftime. You see the Raiders passing game much improved this week. Looks like Mario might be the answer at quarterback. Third and three. It's Rivera. Drops back the pass. That pass hits the grass. It gets batted away by Hayward. And now the Raiders are going to have to force. They are forced to punt after going three and out. So second and nine from the 28-yard line. Cutler under pressure. Avoids the rush. Runs over a man and fights his way to the first down marker. Mudo's change. Let's check out the effort by Jay Cutler. You can see he steps in the pocket. Has time. He clearly runs out of time. Bob Spates with the pressure. But he was not able to bring Jay Cutler down. Second and 10 over the middle, gonna find Martellus Bennett, and Martellus Bennett's gonna pick up the first down move, those chains. Third and seven as the Bears look to pass, and Jay Cutler has a man, gets bumped out of bounds, but he's gonna pick up the first down, big gain on the play. First and 10 from the 20. Cutler under pressure, he's gonna get brought down by Bob Space, who's having a tremendous rookie season throughout the first quarter of the season. So now that's gonna bring up third and eight from the 18. Cutler looking, Cutler throwing out. Sean makes the catch over the middle. First down, Bears as they pick up the first down. So third and goal from the four now. 3.20 to go in the third quarter. Cutler's making adjustments at the line of scrimmage. Cutler throwing, has Alshon, and Jeffries gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bears, and the Bears tie this bad boy up at 17 all. So the Raiders take over. First and 10, Ben Tate up that gut, fighting for extra yards. He's going to pick up a solid gain of nine. Third and inches, Ben Tate is the tailback. The Raiders decide to run the ball to give this to Tate. And Tate picks up the first down by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. Ball is placed at the 37-yard line. Read option. Mario's going to keep it. He's going to pick up the first down, showing his athleticism. Third and eight as we start the fourth quarter. The Raiders look to pass this pressure. And each Rivera gets hit as he lets that one go. And that pass is going to hit the grass. And the Bears take back over. First and 10 from the 12. 12.47 to go in the fourth quarter. Looking for Smith. He has him in the second tie. Then picks up the first down. Gain of 15 on the play. First and 10 from the 28. Cutler over the middle. Has Alshon Jeffries who picks up a gain of 8. And it looks like a player is hurt. And that appears to be Jay Cutler. Hopefully he can return to this ball game. So second and two as the backup is in again. Give the ball to Forte. Good decision to keep the ball on the ground as he runs over Ed Reed. And Matt Forte picks up the first down. Third and six for the Bears now. Jay Cutler checks back in. Cutler looking to throw. Throws the ball. Going to find Wilson who's going to appear to be short of the first down. But the Bears are going to stay on the field as they decide to go for it on fourth and inches. Fourth and inches from the 45-yard line. They decide to run the ball to give us to Matt Forte. Picks up the first down, but he appears to be hurt on the play. So first and 10 is McKnight, who's winning number 34. I can't believe it. He checks into the ball game at running back. Play action pass. Cutler has all day, and I mean all day. Now he decides to run it. He has nothing but green in front of him as he picks up the first down gain of 17 on the play. Third and four, Cutler's making adjustments. He drops back the pass, looking for a man. And that pass is going to be well short of the first down. They needed to get four yards. They only got one. And here comes the field goal kicker. And the kick is up. And the kick appears to be good. Yes, it is. And 20-17 to 17 is the score. Chicago on top. 
Second and five from the 25. Each of drops back the pass, finds Macklin, and Macklin picks up the first down, six catch of the ball game. Second and 13 now from the 31. Mario under pressure, throws the ball to Pettigrew over the middle, who picks up a gain of 10, gonna bring up third and very manageable. So third and three from the 41 now. Each Rivera drops back, looking for a man. He's gonna find the shard choice, and he's gonna pick up the first down. Nice play called by the OC of the Oakland Raiders. So now it's second and three now from the 44-yard line. My man Chavez is under pressure. It was a jailbreak up front, and Austin gets to him, and that's going to be a huge sack on the play. Devastating play for the Oakland Raiders. So now it's third and long. Mario has time. He's running out of it, and now Peppers gets to him, and he gets sacked on the play yet again, and the Raiders are forced to punt. A minute 51 to go in the fourth quarter. The Raiders going to have to start using the timeouts. The give is to Bush, the X Raider, and he's going to get brought down after a no gain on the play. The Raiders burn their first timeout. The give is to Bush on second and 10. He's going to find his way to the first down marker, and the clock continues to run. The Raiders have spent all three of the timeouts now on third and nine. The give is to Bush, and Bush is going to pick up a gain of four, needed nine. So the clock continues to move, but the Raiders should get the ball back with about 20 seconds to go. I think the plan is to inch the ball up the field and then do a Hail Mary. So out route to Rod Streeter. Look to see if the Raiders do another out route on the next play. First then 10, Mario drops back, trying to get him on another out route, but that pass will be intercepted by Major Wright, and that is going to do it in this one. The Raiders are going to walk out of here with the first loss of the season. 20 to 17 is the final. The Bears move to 3 and 2 as the Raiders fall to 4 and 1. Next week the Raiders will be taking on those Buffalo Bills who also have a record of 4 and 1 and that game will be here at the brand new Raiders Coliseum. Hope you guys enjoyed this one tough loss for the Raiders, but hey, maybe they can learn something from it. I'm gonna see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.